Hi guys, it's July 1st and we're going to have something fun for the whole month of July. Every week we're going to do a challenge for a Christmas card. I love doing Christmas in July cards. And uh, I went ahead and did one out of the Hoot and Holler Cricut Light cartridge. And I'm going to tell you about the challenge as I go along with this card. The challenge for this week will be to make a Christmas card using pink, green, red, white, and black. And as you can see, that's what I've done here with my little uh, Christmas card with the owl on it. Let me reach over here and get my supplies. And what we'll do is I'll show you a card on Thursday. And July 1st, that's today, is the first card. And then you'll have until Wednesday at midnight, that's the 7th, to make your card and post a link to it under the comment section of this video. You can do that on uh, YouTube or you can do it on my blog. If you have a blog or a place where you can uh, put your a picture of your card, then put a link under there and then next Thursday when I show you the next challenge I'll tell you who the winner is for the previous week and the winner is going to get one of these uh, Snow Friends cartridges that our great sponsor Sherry has donated so this is going to be a lot of fun and I think when it's hot like it is now doing a Christmas card just kind of cools you off a little bit but I'm going to put all the details about the challenge uh, I'll go ahead and uh, put it under this on the blog under the video and I'll also put it on YouTube under the video so you guys will know what's going on and how you can win that cartridge this is going to be so much fun I can't wait to see y'all's Christmas cards but let me tell you about mine like I said I used Hoot and Holler from Cricut Light and my pink card is four and a quarter by five and a half I have a green mat which is four by five and a quarter and then over here under the sentiment the pink mat is two and a half by three and three quarters then I have a red mat which is two and a quarter by three and a half and under my sentiment I have another green mat which is two by two and a quarter and I cut two mats for my sentiment one is underneath go in one direction and then the one that has the actual sentiment is turned the opposite direction so I cut two at one and a half by one and three quarters and what I did to get all these colors is I used Minya Nouvelle uh, for my font at 20 points and I just highlighted each letter and made it either pink, red, or green and some of it, you know, I just did most of the word in one color and then the other. But I popped the actual sentiment up on some foam tape. So it just makes it stand out and then it's got the opposite direction mat in the back and I just like the way that looks. I added uh, three little shiny pink buttons and I put some uh, pink braiding cord in there. My friend Terry told me about this. Uh, it's very much like hemp, but it's a little bit thinner, and it's only $2 and something, and it comes in like nine different colors. You can get it in the kids' craft section at Walmart. I'm still going to be using hemp, too, but this is a nice alternative, and if you have smaller holes on your buttons, it seems to fit through a little bit better. So I put some pink through there. My little owl, I just love her. Oh, I forgot to tell you, this little white scallop on the side. Of course, I used my scallop scallop. I love that border punch. Uh, that was just a piece of white cardstock, one inch by three and three quarter inches. And I just cut the scallop and tucked it behind this uh, first pink mat. But the little owl, she's a little girl owl. She's got little eyelashes. And I really wanted to make this one. Uh, I don't like the way they do the eyes in this cartridge. They're just too stark and glaring. So I gave her some Google Eyes, which I think is a much softer look and cuter. And because she is a little girl, 
I took my little daisy punch and punched out a white daisy and I put a little tiny pink rhinestone in the middle. But if you get out the folder that comes with this, where is this little girl owl? There's lots of cute little owls on here and lots of cute sayings. And I did borrow this one, Who Loves Christmas? But I would have had to cut it out so small to fit over here, it would have been really hard to deal with. And that's why I printed it on the computer. Let me find her for you. Where are you, little girl owl? can never find her. When I, oh, there she is. She's on the back page. I cut the back of the little girl owl out of black, and she is cut at two inches. And all her parts are at two inches. So the back, or the first layer was black. Then I hit shift and cut the second layer out of red. Then I hit owl and layer and cut her pink layer. And I didn't cut out the white to go around her eyes as they have here. I gave her the Google eyes, like I said before. And she was all out, cut out at two inches. So there you go, guys. That's my uh, challenge card for this week's Christmas in July challenge. And you have until Wednesday at midnight on July the 7th to post a link to a photo of your Christmas card using pink, green, red, white, and black for this week's challenge. And the winner will be announced next Thursday and will win this Snow Friends cartridge that my wonderful sweet friend Sherry has donated. And we'll be giving one of those away every week. Thanks for coming by, guys. Can't wait to see your Christmas in July cards. And I'll see you again soon. Bye now.